All right, so thanks so much for joining. So today I'm going to show you how you can create your own letterhead using Microsoft Word. And I created this when um, I was helping out with our school auction. Um, and we were sending out query letters to vendors. And it really did um, make our queries come off more professional. And I think we did a better job of being able to acquire items for auction. So this is how you can very easily create letterhead in Microsoft Word. First, we're gonna go ahead and click on File, New, Blank Document, okay? Um, next thing, the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is sort of create this text up here. So what you wanna do is go ahead and click um, up on the upper part of the page and you're gonna see sort of that header section and that's what you want. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're going to insert a text box and we're going to draw a text box and we're going to go ahead and draw that right over there and then as you can see we can see the text box which we don't want so we're going to go ahead and click on format and ensure that this text box is selected click on format do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline now from here we can type in Eastgate Elementary School PTA and then from here, we want to go ahead and go to our home. And this is Perpetua Titling MT, which is the font. If you don't know how to install and download new fonts, please watch my video on how to download and install new fonts. And um, it is a size of 22, OK? Um, and we can go ahead and make this a little bit, come down a little bit. Uh, next thing we want to do is go ahead and insert a picture, and we want to insert our Eastgate hmm, I must have moved it. Um, we want to insert our Eastgate PTA Eagle. And if you try to move this around, you can't. So you need to go ahead and click into here and do in front of text, or you can right click and do wrap text in front of text. Now we can very easily move this. You also want to make this smaller. So we're going to drag from the corners and have this sort of come up. Okay. Now we want the um, text of this to be the exact color. We want everything to be the exact color of this Eastgate PTA. So what we're going to do to find that exact color is go ahead and open up Microsoft Paint. And um, I believe almost every, um, I believe almost uh, every install is gonna have Microsoft Paint as a default. So we're gonna go ahead and click onto desktop and click into our letterhead and open up our Bite Eastgate. And we're gonna click on our little counter here and we're gonna click on edit colors. And we see this is 2993167. You want these numbers right here. Okay, and we know this is the color selected because we can see color one. All right, so what we want to do now is highlight this text and we want to change the color. So you're going to ensure that home is selected and you're going to click on the little A and you're going to click on more colors and you're going to click on custom. And from here, you're going to type in 29, 93, 167, okay? And now we have our Eastgate Elementary School PTA, and you can kind of move this over, and we can move this text box, or make this text box smaller, okay? Now what we want to do is we want to create this sort of double line right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to, again, click into our header and ensure our header is selected, and we're going to do insert shape and insert a line. And we're going to ensure that we're in our, our header, you're gonna hit hold the shift key and then move your mouse over and all the shift key is gonna do is ensure that that line is straight. And then you're gonna go ahead and release that. And now we can see we have a line, but we wanna do more to that line. So what you wanna do is select this shape of this line that you just created and you wanna click on format and you wanna do a shape outline and a weight of two and a quarter and you wanna do an outline of more lines and over here you're going to see the format shape and the line is going to be selected and you want to go down to compound lines and you want to click thick thin okay. and now if we actually 
make this much larger, we can see that we have sort of that thick line above that little thinner line. And then we can go back and we can move this Eastgate PTA logo back. Um, and if we wanted to put the logo in front of the line, we could right click and say bring to front. Okay, So that's how we got sort of that top part. Um, Okay, all right, so now let's go ahead and go down to the footer or the bottom part. And again, this is this part down here. Okay, we're gonna click, we're gonna create that sort of that bottom box. So we're gonna go up here and the first thing we're gonna do is click on insert shape and we're going to insert a rectangle or a square. And you wanna click anywhere in the footer section and you know that this shape is selected because we have the different squares around it. You're gonna go ahead and click on format and you're going to go over to the size and you're going to make this 0.67 height and 8.1 oops 1.9 in width. You could play with that. Um, this is just what I happen to use for um, for mine. And you want to ensure that that's centered because you see that green line right there. Okay. Um, next we want to go ahead and do a shape fill of that blue color and a shape outline of that blue color. Okay. Now all we want to do is add the text. So we can go through and insert a text box and we want to draw a text box. And we can draw a text box right over this. Okay. Um, obviously we don't want that ugly white box so we're going to click on format for that text box and do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline. Now we want to enter our text. Um, it is Calibri and it's 12 point font. And what we want to do is type in 4255 3rd Avenue South East Bellevue, Washington. Okay, oops. Okay, and we want to obviously highlight this and we want to make this text font white. The next thing we want to do is center this. So again, we want to ensure that that text box is centered right in the middle of that square. And then we're going to go ahead and click on Format. And then we want to go ahead and click on Align Text. And we want to do Middle. Okay. Now this is going to ensure that this is in the middle of the text box. Now we just kind of want to do some spaces here. And we want to do Contact Us. And that's eastgatepta.org. We'll do some spaces. Oops. And then obviously this is a web link, so it's going to turn blue. So all you have to do is right click that and then click on remove hyperlink. And then from here you can do http colon slash slash www.eastgatepta.org. Okay. And let's ensure that we have the same amount of space in between. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's add another two right over here. Let's add another one over here. And again, we just want to make sure this is consistent. And then from here, all we need to do is go up to Insert shape and we want to insert a line and we want to go down here and again hold down your shift key while you put the line in and we want to go up to shape outline of white and we can do the weight maybe three quarters okay and then we want to copy pressing control C or you can click on this and you can right click and say copy and then click in here and then you do a paste Let's go ahead and click outside of the text box and do a paste. And we can see that it's right up here. And so now we can move this down. And again, the only reason why that happened was because I was in the text box. And when you're in the text box, it's going to change the spacing. So again, you do want to ensure that you click outside of the text box in order to copy and paste that. 
Um, and that's it. That is how um, you can very easily create your own letterhead. And um, again, I used this for our elementary school PTA and it, I think, was very useful. Um, we got a lot of great comments on it and it's very, very easy to do. Uh, I hope you found that useful and um, please like this video and um, subscribe to my channel if uh, you want to take a look at any of my other videos such as creating tags, creating invitations, creating fill in the blank thank you cards as well as a myriad of other um, videos and I am constantly updating and adding new videos to my channel. Thanks so much.